Well, this is unexpected. <laughs> uh, gotta love Alaska. If you don't like the weather, you just wait 15, 20 minutes. It'll change. This is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it is dumping out there right now. <laughs> I've had about an inch, inch and a half since I, <laughs> since I got home. This is crazy. Come on, Winter, knock it off. I could see my driveway yesterday. So when you get these, uh, the instructions, when you install one of these, the instructions say that within 48 hours of installing the countertop, uh, you need to you need to oil the countertop or finish it. Do whatever you're going to do to finish it. Uh, when they when they come, uh, and you saw me cutting the end off of this one last week, they're wrapped up in plastic and they're sealed so that. They don't dry out, they don't crack. Uh, so that's part of the reason why you wanna get a, a finish on this right away. You have a bunch of different options you can use on the finish. And uh, coming from a background of baking, um, we, we always finish these tables with oil. Uh, so I'm just using the, the regular Hampton Bay mineral oil finish uh, that they provide on it, and it's a food grade oil. So you don't have to worry about that. Basically, I put the first coat on, I let it set for about half an hour, it soaks it in, and I'm going to keep putting coats on throughout the day to day. Um, let it soak in, you know, wipe off any excess that pools, put another coat on, let it soak in, wipe off any excess that pools, uh, just so I can get a nice, nice finish on it. And then, you know, you have to come back every once in a while and, and you know, refinish the top with the oil again, but it's a, it's a lot easier to refinish it that way. I went with Butcher Block because I don't like using cutting boards. Um, especially when I'm baking, uh, and I plan on doing a lot of baking as soon as I get the, uh, the stove here in the next couple of weeks. Um, and I can, I can cut a knife right on top of this, and then, you know, so eventually you're going to get to the point where you might have some gouges and stuff like that in it, and you just run a sander over it, sand the whole thing down, get it all cleaned up again, and then come right back with oil. So it's a super easy way to keep uh, a countertop finished. It'll look good forever as long as you make sure you take care of it. I'm surprised at how dark it got though, because, and I'm glad that I went with the lighter side up as opposed to the other side, which would have been much darker because <coughs> it would have pulled out a lot more of the darker colors. Uh, but yeah, this darkened up quite a bit. That's fine. I, I like it, it's pretty. So I ended up applying the oil like four times. I don't know, I might wait, wait a week or two and apply some more if I need to later on down the road, but really happy with how that turned out. That looks nice. Very cool. That is egg stuff. Put some of these tools away. Three, four, five. 
five, six. So of all the seeds that I got started, uh, the zucchini I need to get transplanted. The zucchini came up, the leeks came up, the basil came up, uh, the oregano came up, and I thought that was just going to be it on the main tray, but it looks like the acorn squash are finally making their way up. So I am going to get the zucchini transferred because they're getting pretty big. All right, I'll get those transferred into there. I had a bunch of, and I probably still do if I go through the trailer, I really need to get in there and clean it. But I got to get, uh, I've got like red solo cups and stuff like that that I can use for transferring, but I didn't know where they were at. And now the pumpkins are just starting to break their way through too as we go. Uh, and like I said, the acorns are just getting started, but I'm going to start some other stuff today as well. And I know in a lot of places, folks are probably already, you know, they've already got like beautifully big plants. But the temperature this morning was 20 degrees. Fahrenheit, so this morning it was chilly. I'm going to get all these transferred over and then I'll get on to the next little project. I got home from work really early today because freight was late. Everything comes up here via boat. And that boat didn't dock until way late last night. So I didn't get anything done. And my backup guy, he got everything done over the weekend. So there really wasn't much for me to do. I didn't feel like... I didn't feel very worky-worky today. together and then if they get big enough if it works then I'll go ahead and uh, separate them when I go to transplant them I've grown a lot of successful things in the lower 48 gardening there and gardening here are two different things Usually, you know, you'll go to your local box store and they'll have all kinds of plants in there for you to choose from. You buy all kinds of tomatoes, peppers, all that. But a few years back, I before I moved up here, I went ahead and tried my hand at growing tomatoes from seed. And my gosh, was it so easy to do. I had just incredible success. Just used all the water for the chicken, so. Probably get some water in these real quick. <laughs> 
should be nice when I get to the point where I actually have grow lights and a little bit of a way to grow these things better than I'm starting them now. But I'm happy. It's green in the house. I love the green in the house. Out of here. One, two, three, four, five, and a partial. So I'm getting all, all ahead on the, uh, on the eggs. Uh, these are doing good since I transplanted them over. Everything looked good. I didn't have any transplant shock to speak of. Um, the pumpkins are starting to come up nice. I haven't seen any movement on the onions yet, but that's only been, what, maybe a week or two? Nah, not even a week. It's just been like four or five days. Uh, and I'm going to do something now that I've been dreading. <laughs> I, I, I haven't wanted to do this. I needed to do this about a month ago. Uh, I probably should have because it would have been a lot neater, neater and easier to do when it was still frozen, but it's not. I need to clean out the trailer, and I need to clean out the refrigerator in the trailer. And luckily, I got to it today before it was too bad. I got... Uh, all the food that was still in there uh, hauled off to the dumps because uh, I let that thaw out. Um, and, you know, I used the refrigerator through most of the summer last year, but I'm not going to use it at all this year. And the trailer's going bye-bye anyway, so I need to get it cleaned out. I need to get it taken care of. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on that. I'll take you in there with the cell phone and show you how nasty it is. Just keep into consideration that uh, I've been using it for storage of chicken feed. So there's chicken feed bags all over the place in there. and. and it's just been a storage unit for like the last year. Um, I won't show you the inside of the refrigerator because it's, frankly it's disgusting and it's embarrassing. <laughs> let, it get that, let it get that bad. Uh, but I need to get in there, get that cleaned up, get everything hauled out of there. I'm probably going to spend the rest of the day doing that. I'll show you what it looks like now uh, before I get started and then I'll show you what it looks like after. All right, Got some paper towels. I have it here. Baking soda. And antibacterial dish soap. <clears throat> Paper plates are because I'm tired of washing dishes. Filled up propane today too at the Kenai feed. Okay, so here's how nasty it is. And again, right? It's ridiculous. Oh. Chicken feed falling out. I get that up in the vacuum. That's not a big deal. I mean, I have gone through and actually cleaned off the counter and got everything out of the cupboards. So I'd done all that. There's a calendar that was behind me forever. 2021. Oh, shoot. I got another one of those in here. I'll have to grab that and take that into the cabin too. But I'm going to get everything cleaned out of here today because it's a mess. Over here, the camping box. I need to get that gone through and cleaned out. Some egg cartons. Um... My journal that I was keeping for a while that I haven't been keeping in a long time. All my long johns. I gotta get all those clothing and everything cleaned up up there too. Get rid of all these shirts that I'm never gonna wear again. That kind of stuff. Let's do this. All right. So I have four of these from, you know, freezing, keeping the ice chest frozen during the winter. Uh, I went ahead and brought the pot in, set it up on there. Uh, the propane was empty, but I just filled up propane anyway. So we'll get that taken care of. And then I'll have something to scrub out. Not only the inside of the refrigerator, but these as well, so I can get that nice and clean. Pretty happy with how the freezer turned out, but I'll run through there and clean that up one more time as well. A few stains, um, nothing really to worry about. Uh, but this thing has been a tank. You know, it's just when it gets too cold, it just doesn't work. So let's get that done. So that turned out very well. I'm very happy with that. And for as nasty as this one was, same thing, all cleaned up. I think I have the other lid to that somewhere around here. I'll find it while I'm cleaning up, but I pulled all the door apart. <clears throat> Got all that cleaned up as well. And it was disgusting. <laughs> Shame on me for waiting that long to get this cleaned up, right? Now I'm going to start at the back of the trailer and start throwing stuff away and putting stuff, I guess, on this table uh, that I'm going to keep. So I'm going to start all the way in the back room there. Uh, it's basically just storage and a mess back here. Right? All the shelving that I put in there. That was like the first project on the property. Get everything all cleaned up. The old Christmas tree. And work my way towards the front and just toss everything I can. So I tossed everything up into there because that's going to be the last room that I do. I'm going to have to strip all the bedding and everything out of there. Uh, but with that said, here's something that's kind of funny. Right? So that has not been on the charger in, what, a year and a half? Two years? 
<laughs> LED strip lights. I got this all cleaned off, pulled out in vacuum. There was a freaking wash nest up underneath there. Yank the carpet out of here. I'm going to have to go through that and actually just get on my hands and knees and scrub it. Get that all cleaned up. Got the couch area over here cleaned up. Just got this cleaned up. And got the whole carpet vacuumed up pretty good. I'm going to spray everything down too when I'm done with uh, some carpet fresh. Get it all cleaned up. Uh, I took the cushions that were here and I shoved them outside to get aired out. Right, so those are airing out over there. There's the carpet that was in the kitchen. That's airing out too. That was mainly there just to keep the floor semi-walkable in the winter when it was so cold. I'll probably put it back in there, but I want to clean it up first. Then this was the other piece of carpeting that I had laying on there, but you know, not really worse for wear. It's in pretty good shape for a you know an old hand-me-down trailer. See where I had damage over here? This is all pretty much falling apart. That's where I used to lean all the time. This wood is just rotten. It's just ridiculous. But it's only going to last somebody one summer while they're building their their cabin. I got everything cleaned out of here except for a light. I think I'll leave the toaster in there in case they want to use it. I got some paper and stuff to get out of here. This, I just vacuumed it out. Got it all cleaned up. Right, I still have to get rid of the stuff that's on the top shelf there. I got rid of, clean that all up. Got that all done. I should run the vacuum in here though to get rid of that stuff. Um, and then, you know, obviously I have to, like I said, scrub the floor here. <clears throat> it was a little chilly last night. The water's kind of frozen. But yeah, man, I got a lot done so far. I don't know if that time is right. Well, I know, that time has not been changed. But I can't believe that clock's still working, too. I have to take that and put it in the house. <laughs> Nuts. Man, I got a lot done so far. All right, let's go take a peek and see where we're at here. It's just still gorgeous today. Some high clouds moving in, but nothing bad at all. Running just under 300 degrees. <laughs> Come on, clear up. Slowly but surely. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. I think I'm going to take it off and wrap it here in a couple of minutes. <clears throat> it's times like this I wish I had the spritz for it. But it's it'll be fine. Like I said, I think I'll wrap it up in some foil for maybe a half an hour and see how that goes. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it's turning out. That is pretty. That is pretty. Let's see what we got here. Son of a gun. It's probably going to be easier to cut. There we go. Much easier to cut with a knife that works. There we go. Nice. All right, let's give it a taste and see what we got here. <clears throat> These are meaty. These are very meaty. These are delicious. Oh my gosh. That rub makes all the difference in the world. Mm. And they're so juicy. Mm -hmm. All right, I think I'm gonna pop a uh, TV show on and uh, grab myself a beer and cut up some ribs and have some ribs for dinner. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Nice little smoke ring right there. Mm. Cannot beat it. Cannot beat it. Well, part of that is my regular clothes for work and then the other part of that is clothes that I needed to wash up 
from inside the camper. I got three more bags in there, but I'll be honest with you, I'm not going to do all of this in one shot. I wasn't sitting at the laundromat all day today. Driveway's thawing out nice. I'll show you where I ended up here with the trailer. So I still have, uh, that's garbage. I still have this stack of shirts and stuff that I'm going to go ahead and wash, get those all laundered. Uh, I got the whole upstairs all cleaned out. Um, I still need to pull out a few things that are in here, but generally it's just about done. It's going to do it for me. I'm Sean in Alaska. This thing's all cleaned up and just about ready to go. Um, it's just springtime, man. We're getting all this stuff done, uh, and I'm getting everything ready to get it moved off the property so that I don't have to deal with it anymore, which would be super awesome. We've got a nice forecast in store for this week, um, or this weekend weather-wise. We're supposed to be back in the 50s. Well, back for the first time, we're supposed to be in the 50s, starting tomorrow, so... Or Friday. Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday possibly in the 50s as well. Let me take a peek at the garden here real quick too. Since I'm out here. All right, it's slowly but surely. All right, it's getting there. All the snow's receding. For some reason, this winter seems a lot longer than the last couple of winters. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. I'm Sean in Alaska. Thank you as always for watching, for subscribing, for the comments, for the thumbs up. I greatly appreciate all of it. I'm going to grab a loaf of bread out of the truck here and get inside and probably make lunch. So I just woke up and I'm having coffee this morning. I've been awake for a while. But uh, I looked out the window and that bent over tree that I had in the in the chicken run, it snapped off in the windstorm. So, But it's broken, but it's still connected. Check this out. They have decided... And it makes a great roost for him. That's a trip. Oh, brother Will, he came over and he hooked this up so they had somewhere to stand during the summer. But I might try and leave that tree out there and reinforce it just to use it as a little bit of a roost for him here until I move the coop. Pretty cool, huh? That's awesome. All right, I'm going to go back to watching myself reliance, have my coffee.